In this lesson, I will explain how to import citations from the World Wide Web into your Zotero library. Imagine you are writing a paper on global warming. You might start with a simple Google search. The first result is from the Environmental Protection Agency's website. To save this website as a possible citation for your paper, click the Save to Zotero icon in the top right corner of your URL bar. You can see at the bottom that it's saved it automatically, and if you open your library, the citation will appear. What this icon looks like will vary based on the type of source you are importing. In this case, the type of source is a web page. Once it imports, you can see that Zotero automatically populated certain information about the website, like the author, title, and URL. It also imported a snapshot of the current page. Not everything on the open web will import as a web page. For example, Wikipedia articles like this one on global warming import as encyclopedia articles. Similarly, YouTube videos have a webcam icon and import as video recordings. Flickr images have a photograph icon and import as artwork. Occasionally, you might run into a web page for which the Zotero import icon does not appear. In this case, you can still import the citation by right-clicking and selecting Zotero, Create New Item from Current Page. Selecting the Page Plus icon will have the same effect. If you believe that the imported citation has the incorrect format or details, such as this New York Times article that came, as a, came in as a web page rather than a newspaper article, you can always edit it. I'll go over Zotero citation editing in detail in Lesson 5. In the next lesson, I will show you how to import citations into Zotero from library databases. If you need more help, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian at library.uttyler.edu.